This video is going to be about locking down a Lexamark multifunction machine um, so that uh, people can't print locally to it. Um, uh, this would specifically be used if you're using paper cut and you're monitoring printing and you want all the printing to go through the print server. Uh, to do this, you would just need to log, log into the actual or hit the actual web interface of the machine. So I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to go to network ports and then I'm going to go to TCP IP. And if you notice down here, there's a restricted server list. Um, any IP address you put in here, if you put an IP address in here, uh, it says here you can do up to 50 IP addresses. And these, at that point, the IP addresses listed in this box will be the only computers that have the ability to do TCP IP connections. So one thing I would caution you on is I would, by default, put the IP address of your machine that you have the uh, web page opened on so that you don't lose connection to this. If you happen to fat finger this, um, have a typo, and you save it with the wrong address in there, uh, and you don't know what address is in there, then you will lose connection to the machine, and the only way to get it back would be to set the, the net card back to factory defaults. So I'm going to put 192.168.10.200. That is the machine I'm on. Um, then I could uh, hit comma and put in another IP address. I would also need to put in any IP address that I want a communication with again um, to this machine. So if I was doing scan to email, I would need the email server's IP address in here. If I was doing scan to folder, I would need the um, file server's um, actually IP address in here. So um, keep that in mind that any kind of communication you want done with the machine from any computer, that computer's IP address needs to be in here because it locks down all TCPI communication from all other computers. You can't print, you can't get uh, scanned a folder, you can't do email, you can't um, actually um, open the web page, anything. Once you put a list of IP addresses in here, you're locked down to just those addresses for communication purposes. So just keep that in mind. Uh, of course, once you're done here, you just scroll down uh, to the bottom here and you hit submit. And it'll take a minute um, to, uh, actually not quite a minute, but just a little bit here for it to save the settings. And once the settings are saved, you'll come back up with this uh, uh, screen. <coughs> and there is uh, there are your IP addresses, the only two machines that can communicate with it. I will um, let you know another thing. If you put in 192.168.10.0 slash 24, then that would allow anything on the 192.168.10. network, any computer uh, on this network to communicate with this device uh, because that slash 24 uh, denotes a class C network or a subnet of 255, 255, 255. So uh, I hope this was helpful and thank you for viewing.